Yes, we do. What's in the staff room that requires? We have a toaster and a sandwich maker, a fridge, and uh, an urn. Okay, is the urn left on all the time? No, it's not. Okay. The only thing that's left on is the fridge. Yeah, which is for obvious reasons. Yeah. Okay. How many of them are left on overnight and during the holidays and weekends? None. None, okay. How many, um, what do you call these, appliances do you have in the office that require electricity? Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, okay. Within the, uh, the main office. Okay. Well, we've got heaters and stuff. <clears throat> oh, that's, uh, yeah, and then we've got one, two, three, four heaters. Okay. Action. <laughs> How many appliances do you have in your staff room and classrooms that require electricity? Two, three, one, two, three, four, five, three, six or seven. Okay. Um, okay, so that's what has to be left off. So it keeps this in it. Cold left on overnight, over weekends and holidays. One. Okay. Um, do they have to be left on? Like when... No, no, not at all. Uh, we switch them off. Oh, I forgot. There are actually two, three servers that stay on overnight. They're on all the time. Does that include over holidays and weekends? Absolutely, yes. Oh, and there's okay. two power supplies, automatic power supplies that kick in if the power goes off. And I'll show you those so you can put those in the interview as well. Okay, thank you. How many of your computers are left on overnight or over the weekends and holidays? Look, 99% of the time we try to switch them off and um, that goes off at the wall. Um, but there will be times when we've rushed out sort of thing or something's happened or there's been some event on in the afternoon and people want to leave them on and use them and they don't switch them off. Okay. How many appliances do you have in the library that generate or, or use electricity? Okay, uh, we've got 24, um, I'd say we've got about 35 computers. We have a photocopier, we have all the lighting. Um, and we also have an air conditioning unit that works intermittently. Okay. And it has a thermostat, so it would be burning a fair bit of power. Okay. This is the DER one. Oh, okay. So that's humming all the time. How all much day, power does that use during oh, holidays? Well, that's, that's talking to all the, the computers down the oh, side of the school. Okay. Do you know how much power it uses? Mm. Well, considering how much... Cables. You put your got. hand up there. It's just, you can feel it's warmer up there. Can you feel the warmth coming up? Is it warm? Well, yeah. It's a bit warmer. Yeah. It is warmer. It's a tiny bit. Yeah. Now, that one was only switched off last week, so that okay. one's not running anymore. Right. Okay. And this is a power supply. We've just switched that off. Oh, okay. So that's. And when that goes off, it does it. Oh, that's cool. That's what you'll hear. Oh. And it's alerting us that the power's gone off and you've only got half an hour of extra power to keep other things running. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. We well, tend to wave a bit. Okay. okay. And what else? This is another example of staff lifting their lights on during the day when it's not necessary. Well, there's no As in you can't see this, but through the hole there, you can see. The, you can see. That they have left their lights on. Oh, there is no one in there. Shame. And there is like three rows of lights on in there. Disgrace. That is very shameful. When Back to, to you. Stop this. 